Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So back in April, I let you know that if you are using Microsoft Weather, that the app unfortunately had ads that Microsoft was starting to roll out again in the Weather app after previously removing the ads from the new uh, redesigned Weather app. And I'll leave that video in the end screen if you would be interested. Now, uh, just to let you know that there are a couple of major changes rolling out for the Weather app. Uh, which seem to be on a progressive uh, controlled rollout. I haven't received them yet. But if you are using the weather app, you may find some of these interesting. Now, there are reports saying that one of the changes is that um, the homepage now features two ads, which I don't think is correct because when I posted back in April, I already had two ads on my homepage, plus ads on every other page if you go to the sidebar and you go through the different categories in the weather app. So can't confirm that but nonetheless what we can look at is um, change windows over on X has posted this screenshot of the new weather app and yeah we can see the existing two ads and by the way just on a side note if we head back to our weather app if you don't want to see ads in the weather app what you need to do is just minimize it and then you can use the weather app in a more minimal state. As soon as you maximize it to full screen, you can see the ads are back. As soon as you minimize it, the ads disappear. So if you just want to add free experience, keep your weather app uh, minimized instead of maximized. So that's just a quick side note in case you were, would be interested, which I actually think is a great little tip. Now getting back to that screenshot, um, here we can see the visually redesigned weather app which as mentioned was posted by Change Windows over on X. And first of all, just to go through one or two little UI adjustments because it is mainly user interface improvements that have been made. Um, the app, give or take, is very similar to how it is now. Microsoft just making it more uh, to fall in line with the Windows 11 design principles, as we can see. So yeah, we can see that the top bar also has a fluent design. So yeah, we can see at the top, quite fluent. And then over and above that, if we have a look at some other little changes and tweaks, if you would be interested, um, you also see that the fluent, there's a fluent design blur and transparency effect on the left menu, homepage, other widgets, and also tiles. So a lot of that fluent transparency effect coming into this new visually redesigned weather app. And you'll also notice here to the left hand side, there's a new menu on the left here. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. That's better. That lets you switch between, uh, obviously, your current daily, uh, weekly, and monthly maps and other forecasts, which may be a nice move. Kind of like a little widget here to the left-hand side that isn't available as yet. So just bringing it to your attention. Um, I do find Microsoft Weather, although um, the app does get a lot of grief, I do find personally that I do find the weather forecast um, of the app to be quite accurate, or well, in my region anyway. It could be region specific where obviously you can get a bit of a variation. But nonetheless, as mentioned, over and above those fluent design changes that have rolled out, um, we should see this rolled out using a server side update. Um, that's what reports are saying over on X. And as mentioned, if you want to get rid of those ads, or not get rid of them, but if you want to just view weather without the ads, just minimize that, and that should get the job done. And obviously, when those changes do roll out, and I can show you in real time, maybe go a little bit more in depth as to some of the other changes over and above the fluent design, obviously, I'll keep you guys posted and in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.